Okay, let's begin by going up to File, and I'm going to click on New. And up here at the top, I'm going to call this Airplane. Let's see, Reference Images 1. Okay, uh, your settings, you go to Custom right here, and then I want you to type in a width of 1,000. So you type in 1,000. Height is going to be 1,000. And please, please, make sure that you are set to pixels. Okay. If you type in inches, it's going to create a giant document. So please, once again, make sure you are set to pixels. Resolution is going to be 72 pixels per inch. Everything else you can leave the way it is. Okay. So make sure that you have these settings. Look very carefully at all the windows and then click on OK. Alright, so I have my rulers up here. If you do not have your rulers, go to View, and here you can show or hide your rulers, okay? Alright, I'm going to go to my Move tool right here, and I'm going to drag out two lines. I want to divide this canvas into four sections. So I'm going to start in the top ruler area right here. I'm going to click and drag down, and it's going to snap when it gets to the middle. It's going to be at 6.944 inches, right? I can feel it snap. I'll watch it snap right there. Okay. So I'll go over here to the ruler on the left hand side here. I'll click and drag out and I'm just going to wait until that snaps to the center right there. Okay. All right. Uh, over here in my background I'm going to double click on this and we'll call this layer 0 and then I'm going to add a new layer down here and I'm going to call this grid. Okay. I'm going to take my paintbrush and um, I'm going to make sure that my brush is pretty small. So I'm going to use the bracket keys. Like you can see the brush size right here. I'm going to go really small. Even smaller than that. There we go. Actually, I'm going to go up one more size. I'm going to bring up one more. All right, so I'm going to change my color to black. And now I'm going to trace these lines. So I'm going to hold down the Shift key and trace right along this line. Hold down Shift, trace let. Oops, let me undo that. Hold down Shift and trace right along this line. All right, so it's you can't see them very well, but once you move these rulers out of the way, you should see those black lines. All right. So we don't want to draw on the grid layer right here. So I'm going to click on the lock button right here. That's going to lock that layer. I'm going to click on layer 1, and then I'll add a new layer. I'll double click on this, and I'm going to call this, uh, let's see, top view. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to take my paintbrush now, and let's see, I'll change my color back to blue. Okay. And I'm just going to sketch out uh, the outline of my airplane. So I'm going to just I'm going to be pretty messy with this. I'm not too worried about anything being uh, particularly clean. And uh, so right here, this is the fuselage, the body of the airplane. Right back here, I'm going to put in a fin, tail fin, and then we'll put in fin on this side. And one on this side. Bring the wings out here, like so. Just want to get a rough outline of my airplane right here. And then if I need to make any changes or anything, you can take in your eraser and, you know, make edits. But what I really want to do is I want to get this drawing symmetrical. So what I'll do is um, I'm going to click on this top view right here and I'm going to bring the opacity down. And then I will um, add a new layer on top of this one. And I'll double click on this and we'll call this top view. Let's see here. Final. <clears throat> 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a little bit more careful with my line work. So I'll maybe choose a different color, maybe say red. Um, my eraser, so I'll switch it back to my paintbrush here. Okay, I'm going to increase the thickness a little bit, so I'm going to hit uh, the bracket key. Go a little bit thicker here. And now I'm going to hit Command Plus to zoom in a little bit. And now I'm going to draw this a little bit more carefully. So I'm going to come in here. And I'm just going to draw one side. And I'll just try and connect this line here. That'll be good enough. Um, let me take my eraser here and I'll erase this line. And I'll take my paintbrush. And then we'll actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to connect this line here as well. something like this. So I'll take my eraser now, erase this. And right, erase right here. And right here and over here, I'll erase this section. And let's see, we'll erase this section right here. And then I'm going to draw in an area for the pilot, a little cockpit area right here. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the entire drawing in the top view right here. And I'm going to hit Command C to copy. And then I'll hit Command V to paste. It's going to paste it on a new layer. And then I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, and I'm going to go to Flip Horizontal. Okay. So now I'll take my selection right here, and I'll just uh, take my Move tool, and I'll move this over. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, and I can nudge this. as I see fit. So I'll just uh, take a look at this a little bit closer. And I think that'll be good like that. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'm going to merge this layer with this layer. So I'll click on this, right click, and go to merge down. And then this sketch layer, we don't need this anymore, so we can just turn the visibility off on that. And now we have our top view final layer right here. And we've got an outline for the airplane. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this whole frame, this whole layer right here. I'm going to hit Command T to transform it. And Notice how I've selected the entire canvas right here. Now, I'm going to hold down the Shift key, and I'm going to click and drag on this bottom right corner, and I'm going to drag up until my transform matches up with the window, the, the um, top left section of the canvas, like so. And right there, it did not work, so I'm going to hit Command-Z to undo, and I'll try it again. I'm going to let go on the pen first and then let go of shift and that time it worked. So I press return. 
and then I'll unselect everything and here we have our drawing in our top view. Alright, so now what we have to do is we have to draw the front view. So I'm going to create a new layer right here and I'm going to call this front view. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to my grid layer right here. I'm going to unlock it right here. And I'm going to change my color here to blue. And now what I need to do is I need to add some guidelines, okay? So now that we've drawn one view, there are certain things that we cannot change. For example, we cannot change the the width of the wingspan, okay? Because we've already established how long the wings are. All right. So, what I'll do now is I'll just take my paintbrush and I'll uh hold down the shift key and I'm going to click and drag a line. Oops, let's try that again. I'm going to hit command Z. And I'm just going to click and drag a line going down like this. And down right here like this. Okay. So now when I draw the front view, I know how wide to make the wingspan. I'm also going to draw lines from the fuselage right here. So I'll draw a line here. I'm holding down the shift key to draw these straight lines. And then we'll do a line for the wingspan of the tail back here. like this. Okay. And I'm going to skip the lines for the fuselage, uh, the cockpit and this tail fin back in the center right here. So I'm going to go to my grid layer. Let's take the opacity down a little bit. I still want to be able to see it, but I don't want it to be too prominent. And then what I'll do is I will lock this layer again. So I'll click on the lock button. Now I cannot change that layer. So I'll go to the front view here. And now I will switch back to a red pencil color. And I will just, let's see here, I got my brush out. Hit Command Plus. And so now I can draw in the fuselage from the front view. Okay. And then I'll take the wings out from under here. So I'll draw a line out like so. I'll bring it back down something like that and then draw a line up for the tail in the back here and then I'll draw a line out here for the tail so I'll take my eraser now and I'll erase this section right here this section right here Okay, so now I'm going to copy this and flip it over. So I'll take this kind of right in the center here. I'll hit Command C and then I'll hit Command V, V as in Victor. Go to Edit, Transform, and I'll go to Flip Horizontal. And then I'll select this and I'll move it over. So I'll take my Move tool and I'll just move it over to here. I'll use the arrows on my keyboard to try to align this as best I can. And then I'll hit uh, Command D to deselect. 
And it looks like I need to go a little bit further out. So I'll hit Command Z and I'll nudge it over one and then hit Command D to deselect. Okay, so now we have our front view of the airplane. And so let's see here. We need to collapse these two. So I'm going to right click on this layer and I'll go to merge down. Okay. So we have our top view right here and we have our front view right here. 